Are humans supposed to eat meat? Technically speaking, no. According to our teeth, we're not able to rip through raw meat. And through our nails, we can't claw through meat, we have to use a knife. These nails maybe could rip through meat, but these nails could not. But animals like tigers and lions, they have teeth like this. And claws like this that could easily rip through any piece of meat. If you ever think about a giraffe who's an omnivore, they eat plants, tree leaves, and their teeth are kind of similar to humans. They also don't have the claws that bears have or lions. So our intestinal tract is longer than like lions and tigers. So it gives the meat a longer time to rot in our intestines, which is why you can get sick from eating meat. And all carnivores have a shorter intestinal tract so they can digest the meat as it should be. Technically speaking, we're able to live off fruit and these omnivores also live off fruit. All in all, humans are not supposed to eat meat, but it is tasty. Right. Now she does make some interesting points in her video, but the main four things that I'm going to be talking about are human teeth, human nails, the term omnivore, which she does get incorrect, and how meat is processed through the human digestive tract. But as always, first I must hydrate, and then we shall educate. Let's start with our face, shall we? In our mouth there are four main types of human teeth. Incisor, canine, premolar, and molar. Now, the only teeth that we have in our mouth that are distinctly designed for cutting plant matter are the front, the incisors, because they're made for cutting stuff up. If we were purely herbivores, our molars and premolars would be completely flat so we can grind and pummel uh, plant matter. But if you look at a human molar, such as here pictured, uh, they have ridges. They have like sharp pointed, if you run your finger over your molar, it's not exactly blunt. That's because our teeth are designed for both plant matter and meat. We are not herbivores, we are not carnivores, we are omnivores. But also bear in mind, we're not even true omnivores, technically, because a majority of our teeth are made for crushing and grinding. So we are on the more herbivore side of omnivorous, but we are still omnivorous. Second of all, nails. Now I don't exactly have the talons of a hawk or the claws of a bear. Um, but I do have dexterity and the intelligence of a human being. So why I can't chase after a zebra and sink my claws into it and stay on the damn thing, what I can do using my brain and my dexterity is I can create traps to trap the animal or a spear or make a bow and arrow. You know, we have intelligence. Now for the term omnivore. Omnivore comes from two Latin words, omnis and vere. Omnis meaning uh, all or everything and vere means to devour or eat. But in her video, she lists some creatures that aren't omnivores. Let me explain. In this part of the video, this lady says that all these creatures above her are omnivorous. Cow, deer, koala, elephant, zebra, and giraffe. But the weird thing is, there's only one actual omnivore in this picture, which is the woman herself. All these creatures above her are purely herbivores. They only eat plants. And finally, at the end of her video, she says this. So it gives the meat a longer time to rot in our intestines which is why you can get sick from eating meat. At no point does meat rot within us. It is digested, yes. Rotting, no. Welcome to the realms of the human digestive system. Our stomach is both awesome and disgusting. The acid within our stomach is called hydrochloric acid. It can melt an iron nail. Don't know why anyone would eat a, a, an iron nail, but you could if you wanted to. The reason why a lot of people get sick from eating meat is because it's either raw, undercooked, or just generally ill-prepared. And also certain bacteria such as salmonella can actually survive in hydrochloric acid, allowing them to be absorbed into your body and to make you ill. At the end of the day, we as humans are designed to be omnivorous. But when it comes to what you should put in your body, that's your choice. Be a vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, or omnivorous, omnivorous like myself. Your life, your rules, man. And that's the end of the video. Did I film this entire thing in portrait mode before I realized I was gonna be putting this onto YouTube? Yes. <gasps> now here on my YouTube channel, I do things a little bit differently for my TikToks. On my TikToks, my videos just end and then they just loop back. Here on YouTube, I have a little outro, which is Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to give me a like and a comment down below. But my name has been Edward Stewart. You have been whoever the hell you are, and I shall see you for the next video. Bye.